and we are back online. Hi guys, this is ADC, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a look at Hammerhead, the new X release of this week. So, let's wait for someone to join us and then, okay, I will buy the new Hammerhead right now. Here we go, this shark. I love this artwork very much. <laughs> There's a little crab in his hat. Very cool. Okay. So. No one is watching. Okay, okay. So let me know, guys, when you arrive here. And meanwhile, I'm going to take a look at his skill set. Now. <clears throat> That's an interesting one. Hmm, I'm thinking, yeah, this one, six hits, then critical, three, so three, six, nine, hmm, I know what you're doing, probably, okay, so, there's a, a single watcher, who is it, there's so, is, <clears throat> sorry guys, it's so hot right now, in, in Italy, where I am, it's so freaking hot. There are almost 33 uh, degrees Celsius uh, in this room right now, so I'm, I'm melting like an iceman. Uh, it's gonna be tough to play with this temperature. temperature. So, Okay, so let's take a look at Hammerhead's skill set. So, that's another another high risk, high reward card, as someone um, noticed, noticed uh, on Facebook. Of course, he has this signature, third skill, three blues, five times hit, 450. But I think the most interesting um, skills actually are the first and the second one. So, he is a berserker. He's a beast, and that's very interesting. Then he has this first first skill, five times hit 100, and a single red and die, the yellow one, becomes a sword. So this basically it's a set six time with this skill. And then an interesting powder, double, double red, double powder and critical three combination. And that's very cool. This critical um, will synergize well with both his first skill, of course, but even much more so with the um, powder uh, later in the, in the game. So he has um, different, different um, best roles, perfect roles, and it's very interesting, and I actually I am a bit um, formed between the damage seal and the uh, strength seal on him. I think probably the dam since the damage seal will synergize as well with both his first skill, third skill, and the critical on the second skill. I think probably the damage seal will be the um, uh, correct choice, but even the 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 strength seal will be very much. Uh, very strong on him. Probably he will trigger. Uh, he, he will always trigger two times uh, the powder. So single activation of powder. It's basically three times the strength. So um, so so so. Let's assume he triggers the two powders and then hits with the sword a third time. Now we have three, six, seven, seven um, strength. Uh, output deals so uh, 60 times 7 equals 420 output but you have to also take into consideration the critical and that's that's tough actually uh, since let me see 60 120 yeah 120. I think the damage seal will be slightly more efficient on hammerhead on his first and second skill rolls, and highly more efficient on his third skill rolls. So I will go for the damage seal. That's my choice. So I will buy 
seals and apply to this crazy shark. <laughs> it's very cool. It reminds me of, um, there was a cartoon in Italy, I don't know if, it, if there was uh, the same cartoon where you live, called Street Sharks. And there were uh, basically this kind of uh, designs. There was this, this sharks uh, that swam into the concrete. So in the streets, and they were very cool, at least when I was um, eight and nine years old, they were very cool to me. And they are basically, they, they were like this. So now, today, multi-hitters and pirates. That's a great combination, usually. So let's start with a pretty straightforward multi-hitting pirate deck. So, feel account, of course, our friend Carabus, we need a buffer, and our buffer will definitely be Milad, of course. And the fifth one, you bet, it's MC Electro. So I will start with this team, and let's see if we can do something funny with it. Today I will close my stream a little bit earlier, five minutes earlier than usual. Um, since I have to go to work. So, oh, there's a level 2 card here, a Braxel. That's strange, actually. Oh, well, I will go with Carabus here. Of course, of course, you cannot expect um, Hammerhead to, to be. Oh, Okay, it's a bit wool. Uh, to be highly efficient with his third skill without Inspire, so without Carabus. Of course, you can still benefit by these first two skills even without the fourth roll. But this kind of cards um, with high risk, high reward type need, um, need the fourth roll. Okay, so I won with Carabus. So, let's go with Milad. Oh, the new Archmage, Artrazil, is a force to be reckoned with. I wasn't able to, uh, to do a, a stream session for the new patch, but Archmage is very cool now. Very, very cool. No, okay, against Ragnar with, with Critical, Milad cannot win. Not even <laughs> dream of winning. So I will try to buff as much as I can. Single buff... That's not good. Of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose big time. Okay, look at that. Very cool. It actually is um, interesting using Ragnar in a mage team. That's kind of a twist. Usually, you play Ragnar in um, warrior teams, but even like that, it's pretty efficient. So that's good. Okay, now Archmage is a problem. I will go with. Hmm, let me see. So, oh, sorry, I opened the Amazon link. Hmm. So I will try with Umberhead here, and I want to try the third skill rolls. Of course. I'm not lucky. Oh, let's hope. Okay, okay, lucky enough. That's what I wanted. Single activation. That's cool. Okay, he will use double critical. I will be able to use my fir third skill and probably win. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Now, I will start with Filikant here, since Filikant is pretty efficient against the Kyusha, and against the Braxel I will hit as much as I can right from the start to avoid this powerful fireball, even though Abraxal here is only on level 2, so that's pretty underwhelming. But anyway, okay, now I need as much blues, uh, res, sorry, as possible, at least a couple more, come on. 
Okay. Okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. I will win. That's cool. Hit one, hit two. One and two. Very, very good. Easy win. Yonko Killer, GG. It was an interesting team, but mine was better. Let's roll again with this kind of team. Now, later, we're going to try a beast. Maybe shell for, for this kind of team. Hi, Stregatta. Draco. 2490. Kai's the heroic, it's pretty strong. Dragast with Thorn, on the other hand, makes me makes my head spin. I, I I don't understand why. It's so bad. Come on. Okay, so we want something. Hmm. I will try Filikan here. Let's see what I can do. Okay, another yellow or sword. Okay, that's perfect. Hmm, great roll for him. Hmm. But I will probably win. Let me see. Okay, barely, but... I will. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, now. What should I do? Oh, well. Kais is strong against Thunderhead since he has resilience and the dodge would be useful against my powder here. So I will sacrifice basically Kabus. Oh, just wait a second, guys. I'm gonna go downstairs and grab me uh, a drink. Since I'm very, very, very tired, I will try a full anti-hitting team uh, roll, sorry, against Satan that has backstab. Oh, perfect. I will return in a second, sorry. Here I am, guys. I needed a monster here since <laughs> I, I'm so so tired. I can barely keep my eyes open, and I and I have to work later. So I needed something to. <laughs> of course, monster does not sponsor me. But if you guys from monster are seeing <laughs> this stream. I will very much appreciate a sponsorship. <laughs> oh, hi Fra. Okay, we will win. We will lose against Torment, of course, but we will try a full buff if possible, or a debuff, to be more precise. Perfect one. Perfect one. Sorry, I have a text. I need to. To do. That product, yeah, product placement. <laughs> yeah, million of dollars. <laughs> That's monster zero, absolute zero. No calories, just uh, strange chemicals in there that will, will make you feel strong as hammerhead <laughs> and also will give you problems in every other aspect of your life basically another red oh we have the perfect roll that's crazy okay cool of course Thais is strong against us but we have a perfect roll, so why not? Why not winning this? Yeah, we will. Look at that. Crazy. Of course, thanks to the uh, powerful synergy with Milad. 
So we, we already saw how this hammerhead has a lot of potential as a multi-hitter thanks to Milad. Now we want to see him performing as a strength user. So let's take a look at a different kind of pirate team. So, Octo. Yeah, now the best pirates are multi-hitters. I agree with that. I think so. But we will try nevertheless. Here is the new Captain Alkyl crew. She's better now, so maybe. And last one. Hmm. Benham is interesting, but um, I think Trix is even better. So let's fight with this one. We have a Kotova team, Ganso. Hmm, Ganso is powerful against us thanks to the strength range. So I will go with Karabus and trying to use only the multi hitting portion of his skill set. Anyway, Ganso with strength. Why the fuck? I don't know. I, I seriously. Do, do not understand sometimes how people use seals. If you don't have the correct seal, spare it for later. Why wasting on a card like Ganzo a strength seal that could be perfect on Ogwe Kage? I, I, I don't understand. So the same guy is using strength seal on Ganzo and no seals on Ogwe Kage, that's one of the strongest cards of his guild. So. Yeah, anyway, we won. That's what matters to us. Also, no seal on Jubei, so it was just a matter of... Uh, I don't know. Let's go with Captain Alki crew. No seals on Master Mass, so I'm confident Captain can beat Master Ma, actually. I'm not sure she can beat Ogwekage, but yeah, against Master Ma, we can collect uh, an important win, actually. We need a yellow. Okay, that's that's perfect. Maybe another blue. Nope. Anyway, should be enough. Yeah. So now we are 2-0. Two, two oh. We have... We buffed two of our strongest cards. Now we just need to wait to strike at our opponent, opponent's troop. So basically we already won at this time. Zhang Piao. Hmm, Zhang Piao can somewhat... So, Liu Bei. I will try Hammerhead just to see if he can win. Okay, I wanted... Okay, let me... Give me another one, okay. Another yellow would, would have been perfect, but a sword is... Oh, okay, that's the role I wanted, I wanted to test. That's one of the obvious perfect roles against a perfect role from our opponent, so let's see. Also, our opponent is buffed and Armorhead is unbuffed, so... But we have a seal, so let's see if we can beat him. I'm not sure, but we will try. Maybe it's too, too high. Yubei's output, I don't know. Let's take a look. One, two, three, and four. Okay, barely. But keep in mind, it was unbuffed, and 4100 is a lot with that rule. So now, what's the best course of action here? Tricks? Probably. Okay, I guess Jump Yao. That's a good one. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 
should be we should be able to to win even though she has dodges but um, yeah 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 okay so it was easy anyway Amorhead just delivered 4100 output with a perfect roll and buff so this guy is massive guys He's very strong. So, let's see. Let's have another one with this thing. And then I will try him in maybe Misty. Why not? Oh, Thunder King. Hmm. That's a strong card. Actually, I think the Shield Seal is not bad for him. Maybe I should just um, sacrifice Captain Alcu crew. Yeah, I will try full buff here. Thunder King is too strong to face him face without buffs. I have a perfect roll though, so I will I will keep this roll, hoping that maybe without Inspire, Thunder King rolls bad one bad roll and maybe I can win. Oh, and it happens. So that was cool. Okay, now we are ahead, and also we buff, so that's crazy. Sideware can be a problem to us, unless we use tricks. Now tricks will not suffer so much sideware. Aberration also is strong, but um, I don't think... Okay. So now we need... Oh. No, no, no. We need blues, at least one of them. Not a good roll. Unfortunately, he has a perfect roll, so probably we are gonna lose. Even though maybe, I don't know. We will not activate his noble. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Trixie is stronger than I expected. She was very much buffed. So, and we're out. I will go with Umberhead here and just go for the third skill. Okay, another red, and we will, we will be good to go, but no. Okay, with another red, we could have easily won. Now, this way, nope. Yeah, with another red we would have won, big time. Anyway, let's go with Karagos here. I will lure out Aberration. Of course, that's what I wanted. I'm not sure we will be able to win against Aberration, but basically, we don't care. Wonder... Mm. <sighs> Bad. Anyway, oh, better roll for him, so easy win. Anyway, we would have won with Octo probably. So. Okay. Okay, okay. So now, let's take a look at Beasts. Okay, okay, okay. Also Berserker though. Hmm. Maybe a Berserker team is possible now? Oh, we are in gold lead. Let me see. Maybe a Berserker team can be effective. I don't know. Okay, now. Hmm. Orsid. Okay. That's synergic, that's for sure, but... Uh, no, it's still not efficient, this team. The only one that truly synergizes well with Berserk 
is on my head basically, the only one with powder, so no. I will try a, a, a beast team. Way to beat up on those bronze leaguer. <laughs> yeah. Okay, beasts. Now for beasts, probably, oh no, the Phoenix is not a good card, unfortunately. So for beasts, the best one is the Fenrat team, maybe. Yeah. Also, our Fred Hammerhead is not a warrior, so he will not synergize well with the Kiza. So that's fine. Now, other beasts, of course, Octo. Of Octo is a must in this kind of teams. Then, Bukano was one of my choices, but let me see. Maybe now Wacky Wack can be really effective now. I'm not sure about the the seal to, for him, but uh, maybe Bukan and Popoki. Hmm. Let me see, Bukan, Bukan, I know, uh, Popoki, oh, Shaggy, you graduated, I'm so happy for you, man, I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you, but uh, you, you cannot imagine how, how much work I had to do this day, so, very much, I'm very, very happy for you, so, Popoki, uh, this is all, but, hmm, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, also, maybe we can try something, oh, okay, I will try, I will try our friend Waki Wak here, but then, then I will throw uh, something crazy in the mix. Now, he's a Berserker and a Rager, so I don't want to use Shield, of course. He's not so synergic with damage nor strength, but he will be very much Synergic with resilience, I think. Light light. I will buy another. Yeah, since resilience will not. Oh, even though maybe. No, no. no. It will not be in the way of Berserk. So, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Resilience is good. And then. And then. I will play with. A dear friend of mine, where is Waki Wak? Let's forget about beasts. Let's go find Pervertin, one of my favorite cards. Play with this card and let's go. Yeah, Shaggy, I, I know you're happy, I imagine. So let's start with Pervertin right away. Ooh, Silicat, that's dangerous. But without Glossy, maybe we can risk it against him. I don't know. Of course, if if Silicat rolls his first roll, our Pervitin is done. Yeah, that's kind of obvious. Yeah. Okay. Silicat is a dangerous hero to play without. Um, Colossi, I think. So now our Pervertini is very much ahead. Cool. Ides King of Avalonia. Let's go with Fenrot. Right. Can I have a blue, please? Nope. Oh, we have almost a perfect roll. Not perfect, but very good. He has a perfect roll. We will deliver a good buff. So. Hmm. Maybe we have a chance. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, we have. We had a chance, but uh, with another sword, maybe we would have won. Now, I'm a hammerhead time. Mm, of 
or smite. And we don't we don't fear smite so much. Oh, I forgot about ah, we didn't have the fourth roll. Yeah, I, I, I should have kept other dice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about the thing that Hammerhead without the fourth, fourth roll cannot go for the third skill so so confidently. So yeah, that that was my my mistake. Sorry. Misplay, misplay from AC. That's bad. Ah, I'm not. Uh, pro player anymore. Johan will suffer against our wacky wack, I think, since we have Berserk, but Brave. Yeah, I will go with Wacky Wack. I don't care. Okay. We need perfect, that's what I wanted. Not the last one, but still good. Okay. Okay, okay. Brave hit, brave hit. Okay. Perfect. Hmm. We needed the deferred. Yeah, with another sword, we would have won. That's bad. Okay. So I misplayed with Armorhead. Otherwise, we would have won, probably. Ah, let's go again. This is a, an interesting team, anyway. Pervertine is a great card. Laminga. Hmm. Monozilk. Hmm. He has backstab. But I think Pervertine can be pretty dangerous. Yeah. Definitely. Sorry, Monozilk, but I think we just won. Yeah, I don't care about the backstops. <laughs> All his output has been contained by my bulwark. And so, the first one is ours. Perfecting is a card I really, li I really like. One of my favorites right now. So Teyura and Valentine are dangerous. Also Kais. Those are three pretty standalones. Oh wait. Teyura has four. Oh Teyura is one of the best cards of the last period. And you waste a form seal on her. Why? I need to see this. Why my life is so ugly. I don't know. Stay Yura with... Oh, come on. <sighs> and he is in Champions League, you know? So he, he knows how to play. He is not, he's not a rookie, he's not a new buy. He's not a noob. He finished in Master at least one time and... Ah, makes me cringe. And Ziani with resilience. This is another mistake. Not so bad. Ziani needs forms. Everyone knows that. But I need to win this game. I cannot lose against the champion leaguer using Teyura with Thorn. Guys, I'm pumped up. I need to win now. Problem is. Dodge and Spellbreakers are a tough deal, but I will try with Octo here. Let's see if he, if he can deal with this one. Let me see. Hmm. Perfect rule. So that's bad. Two dodges. Maybe I should have sacrificed Wacky Wack. But I think Wacky Wack... Hmm. Yeah. No. Okay, we won. Okay, that was a good choice. Because I think Wacky Wacky is stronger against the Eura. Now, what should I do here? Ziani is a problem.
I will go with Wacky Wack here. Mm -hmm. See any? That's a good call. Perfect roll. Let's see. He does have a bad, bad roll, so. Okay, first one. Very good. We won, guys. Okay. Ah, this Teyura will make me sleepless this night. Let's fight again. Then I will try my last team and then I will close. Okay, so now we are against Champions League more often. That seem, this seems a, a good team. Apophi, maybe damage is not the best one, but still it's not, it's not bad. Octavia has a good seal. Archmage with uh, shield is uh, an interesting choice. I will go with Pervity here. He will go with Archmage probably. If he is smart. But I needed to go with Pervitin right now, so. Okay. I will go this way. Perfect fall for him. That's tough. Now Arch Archmage has again this powerful roll. I don't think we will be able to win. Very good. Okay. Now, hmm. this starts. Okay, now this is a good team. This is a good one. Malascaria also is very good. And very dangerous. So. I need to win this against Malascaria. Then I will throw Fenerat and sacrifice him, and so I will go with Octopure and avoid those. Okay, let's go with this one. Okay, I should be able to win. Okay, now we will send our friend right here. Oh, again. Oh, come on. Why? Another one. I cannot believe it. I, I just, I cannot believe it. It's... Oh, man. I don't know. Let me see if I can have a perfect roll. Seems like I will not be able to have one. So, oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. So, powerful shocks. Maybe we have a chance? I don't know. I don't. Yeah, no, I, I know, but this thing make me, <laughs> make me so angry. Okay, okay, we... We lost, but that was expected. This is tough. This is tough, guys. Apophy. Apophy is a problem. I will go with Wacky Wack here, but um, it's a tough call. I chose Wacky Wack just because he is weak against Octavia. So, okay, all my output. Hmm. Yeah. I will keep it this way. Oh god. He is he is a lucky motherfucker. 
<laughs> okay, he won, but uh, they don't know how to play. They do not deserve this one. Okay, Ralf Schuster. I thought he was a good player, but then I see I saw Tay Yura. Okay. Ah, God. Ouch. Yeah, that roll is crazy. With it was the probably the only roll that could have uh, beat beat me. So I missed this shit. Now again, multi hitter, multi hitting team. Just to close this stream, a multi hitting beast team this this time. So perverting again. Oh, Kyria. Um, <laughs> Dictators and Milad. Let's go with this team. Let's roll with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will play this one and then I will go work. Go working. So, okay. Ooh, that's interesting. I will start with Pervitin and secure an easy win. You, Pervitin, you need to use her as soon as possible to collect a win and then go on with your game plan. Basically, Pervertin against a lot of matchups can be an easy easy win. Now, you have to pay attention to Dakiza. Dakiza has shocks. So, maybe another a blue... Oh, no. Okay. Anyway, let's see. This roll is gonna be tough for us. Double red. He is lucky. I wanted to secure a win, but I'm not sure we will be able to do that. Let me see. No, probably not. Oh, oh yeah, ba barely, but okay. It was good. Iro, one of the strongest cards in this meta game. Powerful shield user. Great spellbreaker. And powerful shock, so... Okay, Brutus now. <laughs> Brutus is dangerous, but we have a bulwark team, so we don't care. Okay, at least I have chicken, says Leroy Jenkins. So, I wanted a yellow, but who cares? It's not bad at all. We will avoid the... the Powerful sword phase, Brutus blows. Hmm. Now Brutus will <laughs> will have a crazy amount of sword, but he will not be able to use or use it uh, at full advantage, unfortunately. Yep. Easy. This team is very interesting. Okay, now Furago can be dangerous, so I will go with Milad. He will throw Furago in the mix. Good. No, oh, come on. Give me yellows, please. Okay, just one yellow. Okay. Good roll for him. He's so damn lucky, guys. He had almost all perfect rolls. At least his shield bash will not be so effective. So probably. Oh no, I thought I could win, but was barely anyway now hero is a problem hmm. let me see dodge maybe hmm I will go with Dictatus here, just because I think Dictatus is not so strong against Eero, basically. So I wanted him... Oh, wow, man. That's a bad roll. And perfect roll for her, for her. So now I need to be explosive with Hammerhead. Let's see if we can do that. Otherwise, we will close this stream with a loss. Plant City. Let's go. 
Let's see if Hammerhead can deal with Evil. I think the start is promising. Okay, not perfect, but maybe we have a chance. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Powerful, powerful. Yeah, we will win. Or not. Oh no, I forgot about... Oh no. Okay, no, no. We will win. Okay, okay. I had a good... Good roll, so we won. That's very good. cool. So, as for... Final thoughts on Hammerhead. I think his skill set is enough to buy him, this street shark kind of guy, uh, with, a, with a machine gun. He's very interesting. I think he's not suited for um, teams without Colossi, actually. I think he is very good with Karabus, both in uh, multi-hitting team uh, pirates and um, strength team uh, with pirates. So I think he is, uh, is a good addition. Um, similar, in a similar way to Fidecant, he explodes his multi-hits uh, right in the first skill, and that's um, something very useful actually for multi-hitters in, in a meta where you can encounter minus damage, crazy amount of force, and something like that, so show is useful for that. And he has a good potential also as a late damage dealer with the powder and critical combo, so I think uh, overall he is very interesting. I don't think he will be enough to uh, make the pirates a strong, viable uh, guild right now. I, I'm not. I'm not sure. But he is a beast, and that's an interesting trait. I think um, maybe beast team can be somewhat ex effective, or also with Pervitin, and so that's that's an interesting one. As for berserkers, I think they are um, slowly building up. A potential team, I think the, the the buffer is very good, one of the best in the game actually. Um, but they they cannot um, they cannot put together a cohesive and synergic team yet. But I think I I, I probably I'll bet that uh, Pep Eric, our designer, has something in mind for them. This release of Hammerhead is not uh, a random one. I think Hammerhead is very much uh, aimed to be synergic with uh, the Berserk from the, from, I'm sorry, I forgot the name, where is our friend Ursid. Yeah, I think Ursid and Hammerhead will be together soon, as soon as other uh, powerful strength users from Berserker will come out, you will see them together. So, um, you need to collect this uh, Weekend X if you love pirates and if you think Berserker will be a thing in the meta uh, of the future. So guys, we will see each other on Monday. I will go work now and I am tired as fuck. I just wanted to go to sleep or to play a couple more hours, <laughs> but I cannot. So we will see each other on Monday for the Monday release and have a nice weekend. Go play. We will see each other in a bit. Hi guys.